complimentary, 7 till 11. Starting off with some coffee this morning. Can we have anything like that? Like one and a bit? Maybe a bit more. No. You want it strong, don't you? Uh, thank you so much. Maybe. Thank you very much. Great. That's great. Thanks so much. Lovely. Thank you, thank you very much. Now we can say a proper good morning guys. Welcome to another daily vlog, another daily juice. We thought today, we're in Cebu City, we thought today we would check out some of the biggest shopping malls. Apparently we've heard here the shopping malls are insane. They're huge. We're starting at SM City. We're gonna also go to a few more today. One of which is like the sixth biggest in the world or something, which is crazy. So we're gonna go in there, check it out. We're also gonna get some snacks as well, eat our way around these malls. See what shops they got, see how they compare to British malls. Yeah, I'm excited, let's go. Christmas has started in the Philippines. We've welcomed by all these lights, a huge Christmas display right here. And also, a shout out to the security staff here, the friendliest in the world. She asked what country I was from, she said I was a very beautiful man. I'm pretty sure she said beautiful country. No, I said beautiful man, 100%. Right, right. <laughs> Wilson. Comment below if you get the reference. So it looks like we're walking along like the bottom level now, all the clothes shops, and it's brands that you recognize at home, like Uniqlo, Forever 21, H&M. There is tons of stuff. And then there's stuff that we haven't heard of as well, like what? Surplus we saw, Cultura which we haven't Filipino. heard of. Cultura Filipino. That sounds lucky that looks good. Here. But look at the, look how big it is. Like we've just come from down there. This isn't even one of the biggest ones. I feel and it goes, lost already. Yeah, it goes all the way down there. And then, what? Hide and seek. No, I'm not playing hunting. Oh, you're no fan. And then I think there's like four stories here, so massive. Is it four? I think so. Well That's it, thanks. To start our day with two of these, because we feel like we're lacking in vegetables. We haven't had anything like this for ages, so we feel like we need some goodness to start the day in a good way. We used to have a spinach smoothie every morning, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, we got into a really good habit. What's that? Oh, no, fine. We just have breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, these look good. They're very green. It tastes like what's in it, which is perfect. That's good. I hate when you get a smoothie and they put loads of sugar in it, and then it just tastes of sugar. But this tastes literally just like what's in it. It's really good and healthy. So Lucy and I for some reason are really into logo t-shirts at the moment. So like t-shirts like this one that we bought the other day in Taiwan. It's got a little DW with, we're saying that means don't worry, but it might be something totally different or be a brand name or something. We've just found a rail here. All of these t-shirts have really cool little slogans on. Number one, against the system. Like that. Interesting is okay. Like, like I don't like that. that as much. I like that. Wait, wait, come back. I like the little hand on this guy. And then one that says just be nice, which is so, so true and perfect, but I've just noticed that. So is there another one? That's not good. The only problem here for me is sizing. I tried on an extra large t-shirt the other day and it's, it's more like a medium in the UK. So it's quite difficult because I'm quite tall and quite large. I usually buy XL t-shirts in England or double XL, so they're quite baggy and stuff. But I think we're gonna try a few of these on. These are cheaper than the smoothies you've just bought. Wow, really? That's the other thing. Yeah, but this is really cheap, but they're really expensive. Yeah, <laughs> and there's like tons that all, all of these have like logos and they're all different as well. That's so true. I feel like in the UK a shop would be like a rail of 20 for the same t-shirts. This rail has like maybe two of the same for two different sizes, but it's all different stuff. It's nice. Like that. This is the SM shop, by the way. It's the mall that 
I guess the, the shop of them all. There's loads of different brands and stuff in here. I don't know what half the brands are, but it just seems to have a bit of everything in here. So we just walked into this part here and it's called Cyber Zone. So it's like loads of different shops for like technology stuff, like electronic, uh, like phone stuff, lots of phone stuff, camera shops, uh, photo printing things, just like everything technology wise. But it's quite handy because I feel like in the UK in a mall, it would all be spread out and you wouldn't have a certain section for it. But here it's like you come here if you want something electronic y. So. Okay, so this is actually a whole floor of tech stuff, which is actually really cool. It goes all the way down there, all the way down there, and all the way down there. There's even a place here to keep your buggies. That is cool. You don't get that in England. That machine is freaking out. Oh, it stopped. Just come into like a TV store and they sell a load of electronic stuff as well. And we've just seen the biggest TV in the world. And it's just turned off as I'll show you. Look how thin it is. Wow, there you go. Really? Like you've no back of it. Oh my god, oh my god. No. No. That's the TV guys. That is how thin it is. That's even bigger. That's crazy. Okay, I know it's two grand a lot of money, but compared to UK prices, I feel like you'd get a lot less for your money for two thousand pounds on this massive 75 inch UHD 4K LED TV. I want one of these, that's incredible. <laughs> no way. Literally just press hit, hit send. I saw a car at the front with this colour. It said blackish yellow, uh, red on here, and then I saw outside so it went oh. off the next morning. Hello. Hello. Centre now, um, which is about is it a 10 minute drive away from where we just were. And every single mall we go in, any entrance has like a security, like a guy there, and um, one of them beepy things you go through at an airport. It's like really, really good security. Like you don't really have that when we are, do you? And there's more Christmas decorations. Look at this. Ooh. Big one. This one feels much more like quiet. Um, less kind of, I've only just walked in so I don't know, but left, the other one had like loads of little stalls and stuff for food. This one seems more just like focused on shops and maybe like all the restaurants are somewhere else I'm, supposed, I'm guessing, but it feels quite different to the other one. Um, maybe a bit classier I want to say. Cause it's Interesting. Like a, a quite, the other one was like a really fun like Christmas tree and stuff. This one seems much like more serious. We're, hoping, I mean? we're hoping to get some food here as well. Yes, and a toilet. So we'll course. see. Picking up some coffees quick. The cake here looks. They do a. They do a mango cheesecake. I've never heard really? of such thing. That looks unbelievable. But we're not going to go for it. We're going to leave that there. No problem. No rush. Don't. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Can we please have two espresso macchiatos? So we've just come to the outdoors bit now and I didn't expect this. It's like where all the restaurants are, it's this like massive like green area uh, on like two level three levels. So cool. There's like places to eat outside, um, loads of types of food by the looks of things. What do you fancy? I really don't even know. Mm, I kind of feel like something healthy-ish. Yes, me too. Would good. Be good. Yeah. Dunno. Let's see what there is. Let's have a wander yeah, around. Have a look around. This place is crazy. Look. All this is food. Everywhere you see. Wow. Too. Okay, this and is bad bar. for people like us that can't make decisions, right? Oh uh, yeah, this is quite bad actually. We could just have a little, like one course in each. Yeah. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Very good. 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 Blogger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. Do you want to be on the vlog? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 You're in the vlog. Bye. 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 Love it. More super friendly people. Everywhere we go. Big rice bowl. Thank you. Barbecue pork bites, please. Thank you, Dave. Food's arrived, it looks good. Chicken sisig and. Barbecue pork rice bowl, very good. Lunch was good, we're fueled up. This mall definitely feels posher. It feels kind of like more classy in a way. It's like, I don't know, it's just nicer. Like the lights are nicer, the shops look nicer. It's more expensive brand, so. I don't know, there's Zara, Gap. It's more 
Fred Perry, what else have we seen? It's more a bit desi it's more design really, yeah. So what I'm saying is, the stuff's here way out of our budget, so I think we're gonna hop in another car. We're over to the third mall we're gonna check out, which is... SM Seaside. SM Seaside. And this is the one that is the sixth biggest in the world. Thank you very much. Nice, nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Take care. Nice you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Bye. Just arrived at SM. I think it's is it Seaside. It's yep. called Seaside. Um, so same like name as the other one, but the bigger version. So we're inside. It looks again massive, oh, and I are. think we are gonna. I know we've just seen lunch. I think we are gonna get some snacks here. There's so many little, oh look, another place to keep your trolleys. Trolleys? Buggies. Buggies. And the guy in the, or the taxi driver, or the grab driver, who's so nice, we're having a nice track with him, he was just telling us that apparently in oh, the Philippines. This is mad, like, I, I cannot this is believe crazy. This. Uh, two things, to get a, a driving license, you have to buy it. You don't have to take a test. No exams. And there's no speed limit, so you can just yeah. do what you want. And there's no like rules for the road, which has absolutely <laughs> blown my mind. He was saying obviously like there are accidents and stuff, but, it's mental. Like in the UK, you have to do like a theory test and then like a, a practical there's test, so, and it's yeah. hard. Like there's so many things. If you do it wrong, you get a fail. If you get too many fails, then you don't get a license. But here, there's none of that. And I was like, so who teaches the kids to drive? And they were like, they just they learn on a scooter first, and then they have and then they buy a car, and then they, they, and then they, they just learn themselves. teach themselves. It's mental. crazy. I can't believe but that. we made it in one piece, despite that. Yeah, he's a great driver. So one thing that sets this small apart from the others is it's on the seaside so you can actually see the sea you can go out here and get a view apparently it's pretty cool so we're going to check it out now What did you say? I said, do you have a big, do I take a big straw or a small one? She was like, big, because you've got bubbles. I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got a bubble tea because I loved it in Taiwan. And this is hazelnut flavour. Yum, give it a try. Oh, no. How long are they meant to do? That's what? What are you doing? Just pierce it. I can't. It's every time I do it, that's that. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to tidy that up, you know. Oh my god. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, for goodness, it. you're you're a nightmare. Well, I mean, it wasn't easy. Mm, very nice. Bubbles are softer than Taiwan. They were like more firm. These are kind of like a bit, a bit soggy, but it's nice. Soggy. You smell that popcorn. Uh, that actually so smells good. so good. <laughs> We could watch a movie. I don't know if it'd be in English. Yeah, of course it would. Do you think? Yeah. It's like Strobe. I haven't heard of any of these films because we've been away for so long. I don't know what you're about today. Nope. About it. I don't go on Twitter. Okay, so it's been really interesting going around these three different malls today because they're so different. You're right. They're so different, like, obviously there's similar shops and stuff in some of them. I'm trying to record a <laughs> serious <laughs> clip here. It's be hilarious, I'm just choking on this. But this one is the biggest by far, but it kind of, it can't, it's kind of lacking a bit of atmosphere in a way. I know it's later in the day now, but it's very, very quiet, there's no one here. The first one had really good atmosphere, there's families out, kids out, and then the second one was similar. I think the first one had the best atmosphere, and then this one, like, there's hardly anyone around. It seems very quiet, doesn't it? Less going on, more, or maybe because it's bigger and there's more shops, more people are spread out more. So, other than shops and restaurants, the obvious, there's like an ice rink, a cinema, a bowling alley, uh, a den. What's that smell? That really smells weird, is that? Um, I don't know, toilets maybe. Oh, oh. No. There's salons, there's dentists, 
literally it's hand and foot spas. There's anything like you could live here if you had to, like in this building, because <laughs> everything is here. I love this P Porsche and Audi showrooms in the middle of a shopping centre. We saw this in Bangkok as well. That's pretty cool. And Bentley. Libra. Christmas mood now. <laughs> um, right, we're gonna go home now because we're really tired. Been walking around malls for eight hours. Oh, my legs are shot to pieces. I feel like I've run a marathon. I That's feel probably like, not what it feels like. I feel like we've done it justice though. Mm -hmm. So we've had some cool malls. We hope you've enjoyed following us around, coming around with us today. If yes. you're ever visiting, um, still come to this one, but the first one we went to has probably the been one. our favourite. SM City? Yeah. Picked up some set. We did do a bit of shopping, didn't we? A tiny bit. Not, not like any cool beard. clothes or anything, but we got a few little bits. Um, yes, the beard is getting a trim. I've seen the comments. Don't worry. We're going to we're gonna tidy it up a bit, give it a little bit of shape. Yes. But for now, we're going to end this vlog, so thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the videos, we upload every single day daily vlogs on this channel. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today, and if you are new, please hit the subscribe button as well. That really, really helps us out. Is your arm okay? Yeah. We've got to go because this it with is arm. too weak to hold the camera. So this camera's too heavy for me. What are we doing tomorrow? Oh yeah, we've got something we're trying tomorrow, I think. That's oh yeah, okay. This could but be interesting. We're not saying anything. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.